What I got here is a shoe box, and this illustrates how most boats are put together. Now, this is the hull of the boat, and this is the deck. And most folks use this shoe box method to just set the deck on top of the hull. But at Pioneer, they figured out a better way. Take a look. A typical boat has a shoe box fit where the deck fits over the hull, and it's just screwed into the side and caulked on the bottom rubber rail and that's the only thing holding the boat together uh, and typically they're pulling those parts out of the mold and putting them together and we cap our deck inside of the hole which is still in the mold which is kind of unique and um, it's it's the deck fits inside of the hole and there's a solid putty joint all the way around so if you were going up against a dock the boat would separate itself if it's a shoebox fit but the way ours is it pushes itself into each other and it does it does a lot better than than the traditional shoebox fit. So I'm probably costing myself an extra day in production to do it that way, but it is better. There's several benefits to capping the deck inside the hull. Number one, we like to be able to cap the deck to the hull while the hull's still in the mold. All right, by doing that, it's holding the form of the boat together in its most truest form. The hull, the fiberglass, everything's still stuck or, or attached to the mold. So when we attach that deck to the mold, it's a lot more rigid surface. Um, you know, a lot of the builders today, you can literally take their boats apart. Let's say you had a bad hull and take the deck off. Not a Pioneer. A Pioneer, when you're running through the water, it's solid as a rock. There's not a lot of clanging, a lot of bumping, a lot of noise being made when you're running that hull. And the reason that is because the deck is fused to the hull. It's chemically bonded. It cannot be separated. So, you know, to me, the benefit of that, you know, it's safer. Um, you know, we, we're, we're injecting a, a, about 50% more flotation in the boats than the Coast Guard requires. Because it's done in the mold like that, we can actually apply more pressure to the foam. As it expands, it compacts into the little crevices and different areas throughout the boat. Um, you know, it really makes for a solid, rigid, constructed boat. If you look at a cutaway of our boat, um, there's probably a half inch putty joint which that's, you know, you don't see that a lot. Typically you see an inch or more. And I, we tried to get our tolerances as close as possible. Um, if you look at the way inside the bilge where the boxes tie into the back of the boat, they're actually tied into the transom, which you don't see that a lot. So the ski eyes and um, other hardware, you can get to everything after the boat's put together. A lot of boats, you can't get to the ski eyes after the boat's been put together. You just can't get to them. Capping the hull while it's still in the mold Another way pioneers charting a new course by manufacturing innovations that make for a stronger, stiffer boat. Because trust me, those tolerances are tight.